Our case dealt with a 64-year-old woman who was hospitalized for multiple sclerosis. The doctors want to give her a feeding tube so that she may get the nourishment that she needs. In the morning, she agrees to have the feeding tube put in. Later in the evening, however, she appears confused about her decision on whether to get the feeding tube. She then tells them she doesn't want it. The doctors wait and ask her again the next morning. She is unable to recall the events of the previous night and once again agrees to have the tube placed. The woman has not given her informed consent. She is having memory loss, which renders her incompetent. In order for someone to give their informed consent, they must be fully competent and autonomous. The doctors must override her autonomy. Placing the feeding tube would be in the patient's best interest. Not overriding her autonomy would cause her not to get the nutrients she needs to survive. Not getting these nutrients would cause her harm and eventually lead to her death. The doctors should give her the feeding tube because it would help her survive as well as help the doctors maintain their duty to help her. In conclusion, the patient has not given her informed consent. Her inability to remember what she has said has rendered her incompetent. The doctors must act paternally and give her the feeding tube, acting in her best interest and doing their jobs as physicians.